Today we are going to create this lock on stabilize movement effect in After Effects. It's a very popular effect you might have seen it on Instagram and at the same time it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright so right now I'm in After Effects and in order to create these kind of effects you basically need to have some video footage. So here I have shot a couple of these and in order to create this just take out your smartphone or camera and try to pick some object and record it while moving around it a little bit like this and while doing that all you have to do is take care that the object remains in the center as much as possible and make sure that your video is smooth once you're done with this you can repeat this step and shoot a bunch of different objects so for example here i am shooting this little pot and again you don't have to move like a lot just pick some point and move around it little bit like this also all of these videos are in 4k if possible you can do this in 4k otherwise 1080 would work but if you are using the 4k then we can have like little bit room for cropping and all so once you're done with this just import them in after effects and you are ready to go so first we will begin by creating a composition let's call this one main this one we will make 19 20 by 1080 frame rate whatever frame rate you want i'm going to keep it 60 duration just leave it to 10 click on ok so here we have our composition but we are not going to use it first first we are going to stabilize all of them so let's pick this first video and drag it inside this composition now i'm going to pick some points so from here we can start so i'm going to trim the beginning and let's move to a point where you think it looks good so till this point i think it looks good now i'm going to move this to this end as well after that right click trim com to work area now we are ready to stabilize this so in order to do that we can go to windows and let's enable the tracking panel and here we have this tracker and after that we are going to use the stabilize motion so if i click on that it will take me inside this window and also it will give you this tracker point which you can zoom in and just click and place it on to whatever part you want to like keep it in the center of this frame so i want this mic so i'm going to pick a point somewhere around here this looks good now make this little bit bigger you know to have a better track and once you're happy with this you can just simply click on this play button let me quickly zoom out and if i click on play you can see that it will start tracking it and it will take some time to do this depending upon your system now the tracking is done and you can see that our point is sticking to this and after that we can click on edit Make sure that this layer is selected whatever you are working on make sure that it is selected and after that click on apply then click on ok now if i press play you can see that our mic will stay in the center in a stabilized motion and rest of the frame will move but don't worry if you see black borders we can fix that by simply zooming it out this is where the 4k clips comes in handy because you will be able to scale it without losing much quality and once you're happy with this we can go back to the main composition now we can drag this inside like that and we can probably press s and let's just scale this down also let's do one more thing i'm going to enable this title action save so that we can see the middle point this is the middle point of our composition now i'm going to move this mic to somewhere around here now it's up to you you can zoom in however you want depending upon your clip and here you can see we are not able to see any black borders because we have zoomed in nicely and yeah, i think this looks good so once i'm happy with this we can probably add one more clip so let's select this and i'm going to drag it over here and let's just stabilize it quickly i'm going to pick some points and repeat this step so let's move it till here and let's drag it let's drag the end point as well right click trim com to work area now again we are going to stabilize it so go to the very beginning make sure that this layer is selected click on stabilize motion now let's zoom in and i'm going to pick some point onto this i'm going to pick this one let's make this bigger and this one as well and after that click on play and here's a tip while it is tracking you can pay close attention so that this point is not moving a lot we basically want it to stay somewhere near this area and here the tracking is done now again click on edit make sure that this layer is selected ok apply and let's click on ok again and if i press play now this will stay in the center and rest of the frame will change again we can go to the main composition and let's drag this second one and now press s and we can fix the scale 
like that let's zoom in and i'm going to move it into the middle now if i press play and yeah i think this stays in the center as well perfect so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so once you're done with this we are ready to create the speed ramp effect so for that we can select this right click go to time enable time remapping now if i zoom in we have this beginning keyframe and we have this ending keyframe let's go to the ending one and don't go to the last frame just keep it to one frame before that let's add a keyframe and i'm going to select this and press delete now we can go to the very beginning and this is the part where you can sync it according to whatever music you want to use but i'm going to show you the general idea so the general idea is like pick some point so i'm going to pick somewhere around let's keep it around 15 frames then move this point to this location and let's move 15 frames again and after that we can copy the first keyframe which is over here and paste it now we can trim this layer to this point and if I press play, you can see we have created this effect. Let me just quickly preview only this area. Now you can see we have created this effect. And in order to make this more smooth, we can select these keyframes, press F9 to ease them. Let's go to the graph editor by clicking over here. If your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. And after that, I'm going to change the curves to look like this. So in the beginning, we want the motion to be very fast and quick and at the end as well so i'm going to change the curves to look like that now if i press play you can see we have this very fast motion in the start and the end and in the middle it will slow down again the timing of this depends upon whatever music you are using so if the beat is like far away then you can like move these keyframes a little bit ahead like this now if i press play you can see we have the same effect but it will be a lot slower but for this one i'm going to keep it to this fast and once you're done with this we are ready to do the same thing on the second track as well but there is one thing that you have to take care of so if i play it slowly you can see that our camera is moving into this direction like to the left side and we are going to the left side but as the other clips begin you can see that it is moving to the right side so if we add the same effect it will look very odd into this but we can fix that by simply replacing the keyframes or by changing their location so for that we can select this and let's enable time remapping and we have these two keyframes let's pick this point and i'm going to pick this one again we don't want to pick the last one we can pick one frame before that let's add a keyframe now select this press delete and we are going to basically reverse these two keyframes because we want the direction to be changed so i'm going to move this to the very beginning and this to over here and rest of the steps will remain same let me just quickly align it over here and let's move this point to this one let's copy it and paste it to this location now we can trim the very end we can select these press f9 let's go to the graph editor and i'm going to change it to exactly look like whatever we have earlier now if we go back we have this now i'm going to place it right after this we can probably trim these so that we have this very smooth cut now if i press play you can see we have these two clips and you can see the effect is looking very nice again remember to have the motion in one direction so it is moving to the left side and this clip starts moving to the left side as well and after that it goes to the right side so the next clip whatever we have will start from the right side and in the same way you can like keep on tracking all of the other clips and just adding them and after that do the time remapping so once you're done with this there is one more step that you can do to really enhance this and the last thing is to add some motion blur so for that we can right click let's add an adjustment layer and on top of this i am going to search for cc force motion blur let's drag it onto this and right away you can see we are able to see the motion blur now it's completely up to you can play around with these values just don't 
overdo the blur sample otherwise it will really hang your system i am going to leave it to eight only shutter angles is something that you can play if i increase this you can see that it will increase the blur as well the amount of blur you have if i decrease this you can see it will reduce the blur but i'm going to leave it to 180 for now now if i press play you can see we have added this very nice motion blur which makes it even more smoother and this is how you can create this lock on stabilize effect in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.